All right, so I'm just gonna demonstrate on how I tie in a bead chain. Quite often what I'll do is create two thread bumps, one up front. And then I'll move my thread back about a turn and create a second. I'm just using a big hook here. Now this technique will work on regular dumbbell eyes or nymph eyes, bead chain, all that stuff. So what I like to do uh, is I just put it horizontally and uh, we're going to do figure eights. There's a horizontal figure eight and a vertical figure eight. And so first I'm going to start with the vertical figure eight and I'm going to put five turns over and I can just twist the eye to sit between those two bumps that I put there. And I'm going to place an additional five going the same direction. Like so. Now I'm just going to twist the eyes so that they're where I want them. I'm going to come under the shank and go the opposite direction. Again, doing uh, vertical figure eights. And I'll do ten that way. And usually that locks them pretty good, but then to kind of cinch everything together, I'm going to do my horizontal figure eight. So I come up underneath the eye, around, over the top side of the shank, down underneath the eye, up front, over the top side of the shank, down underneath the eye, up, over the top side of the shank. And I'm going to do this 10 times 2. And I just want to try to keep these thread turns tight. Now once I have my 10, I'll take my thread and I'll pull forward. And those bead eyes or bead chain is in, or I'm sorry, the dumbbell is in place uh, pretty well. And then you can go ahead and finish building your fly or whatever you're doing. Usually these kinds of eyes go on first. Uh, and it always helps to add a drop of glue as well. So Those guys are on there pretty good. That's it. That's how to tie in bead chain dumbbells. Happy tying everybody. Take care.